the multi-modular planetary roller extruder from Entix, the compounding machine of tomorrow. At the planetary roller extruder, a temperature-controlled central spindle is driven, on which the individual and in their number variable planetary spindles roll off. The rotating planetary spindles are additionally led via an eternally toothed liner, which is enclosed by a roller shell. Between liner and the shell, also called cylinder assembly, there is the liquid temperature control. Depending on the process requirement, the cylinder assemblies can also be varied in the dimensioning. Between each of the cylinder assemblies, there is an intermediate ring. In the version as stop ring or dispersion ring, these rings hold the planetary spindles in their position in the liner and at the same time allow the pressure buildup in the module. Likewise variably applicable are our different types of planetary spindles or spindle variations, such as the TT spindles for transport and drying, the transversal mixing planetary spindles for cross-mixing and the NEP spindles, for example, for the feeding of pallets and fibers, which can be used in dependence on process and formulation. Now, let's take a closer look at the process of the planetary roller extruder. Due to the direct material feed in the planetary feed cylinder, called PEZ for short, delivery fluctuations are compensated. This means that the supplied material can be absorbed and plasticized evenly. Even with partial quantities, the material is processed evenly and not intermittently. This delivery consistency is also important for the subsequent process. By the 45 degree helical toothing of the planetary spindles, the material is transported forward and rolled out. Unlike other extrusion machines, here does not occur only one effective roller gap, but depending on machine size and configuration, up to 48 gaps. As a result, the planetary roller extruder generates completely different surface dimensions than other extruder types. Between the cylinder assemblies, also called modules by the way, intermediate rings can as well be set as retaining ring and as a toothed intermediate ring. At the same time, these rings are equipped with pressure and temperature measurement as well as with injection options. The temperature control is made possible by both the central spindle and the cylinder assembly and is unique in processing technology. Due to the toothing in the liner, a ribbing is created, which enables lowest wall thicknesses. The liquid heating cooling medium, oil or water, bypasses very closely to the product. This enables a uniquely precise temperature control and the greatest possible heat transfer. Via a side feeder, material can be evacuated or supplied. Thus, the volume in the planetary roller extruder can then be precisely adjusted via the spindle trimming by the number and shape of the spindles. So, space is created for example during degassing by reducing the spindle trimming to a minimum. In short, with our universal genius, the process technology of tomorrow begins for you. And all this continuously, directly and in one heat, economically and ecologically. Try it!